Hey, this is Fred from NextGen Solutions, your Autodesk Gold Partner Authorized Training Center and Service Provider. I'm part of the Vault and Inventor team. Today we're going to go over how to manage users from an administrative level. So basically, you got new people that come on, how do you add them? Or if someone leaves your company, how do you remove them? So that's what we're that's the goals today. How do you manage all that? So there's technically two ways to do it. If you're on the server, there's something called the ADMS, the Autodesk Data Management System, that you can access and you can change it there. Or you can do it from any of the Vault clients, provided you have administrative login. Uh, one thing to note is you cannot delete users. You can only disable them. Uh, the history in the Vault needs the users to always be there in the back end. So in SQL, the data management side of it, it will be keeping track of, you know, checkouts, check-ins, creations, and things. So even if you disable a user so they no longer can log in, you still have that information of what they did while they were working there. <clears throat> you can add columns to the view to make it easier to see things. And then the Vault Professional will allow you to use domain users. I have both the data management system server, ADMS, on my left, and I have the Vault client on my right. I just wanted to show how you get access to it. So I have logged into both of these as administrator. In the ADMS, I can just click on Tools, Administration, and I'll get this window. In the Vault client, which will be on the workstation, so you go to Tools, Administration, Global Settings. So you can see the windows look very similar. Um, the tabs are different, but the ones that we're going to be looking at is this top section under Users and Groups. Please note there are actual functionality. You know, if you want, if you're using domain groups, you can have it automatically create user accounts for them as they log in, and you can enforce a password policy. Then you hit Manage Access. At this point, it doesn't matter which one you're in. It's going to look exactly the same. So I'm just going to use the one from the ADMS. And you'll come up to this window. You'll have a Users tab and a Groups tab. Typically, if someone from NextGen Solutions is setting up an environment, we usually set up an administrator group, an approver, a design, and a viewer group. Those are the basics when we do. Basically, a group is we have assigned roles and permissions to each of these groups. So as you add new users, you just put them in the correct group, and you don't have to worry about the roles. It simplifies the whole thing. So on it, usually, you only have to look at this section. If you wanted, so to add a new user, you click the new button right here. And you will fill out the information. You will have to use the accounts button here to select what kind of account you're using. Um, a lot of people, they like to use the Autodesk ID account. That is very useful so that you're already using this account to pull in your Vault license. So you can just tie it in with that so you don't have to log in twice. Otherwise, you will have to log in both for your license and to get into the Vault if you're using a separate ID. This just combines the two. So that one is most popular. I don't have one for this new user, so I'm just going to create a general account here. I'm not going to put a password on it. Once you do that, you can say you don't have to worry about roles because we're going to go ahead and put them in a group. New users are going to go into design. They're going to get their roles from that. And I can choose which vaults I want that user to be able to access. I hit OK. And that one is done. If you need to disable the user, you can either right click and hit disable user or a double click and you can uncheck the box. Both of those do the same thing. There's a few different ways you can view this group. So if you go to view, you see that there's an option for effective vault. It'll break it down to show both vaults that I have on my system and who has access to each one. If you want to add specific roles, you want to see who has administrator roles, who's able to do the change order editor roles. If you know what those mean and what those are, that could be very useful for you. Finally, I did mention that you can change things, add more columns in here. Just a right click up here and you can hit this customize view. And it will give you this option here, kind of similar to what you see when you're customizing your view and column layout in Vault. You can hit the fields here 
and you can add uh, whatever you think is going to be helpful. I like adding assigned groups because then I can see which group everybody is in at a glance right from this tab. You can double click on it to automatically shrink it to the right size and now I can see that guest is the only one that's not been assigned to group everybody else. These two are in design, these two are in viewer. But yeah, that's all I had to show on edit, controlling those user groups and uh, how to create new users and remove users. If you guys run into issues, have problems, please feel free to reach out. Anyone on our technical support team can help you guys with any issues you run into.